Good morning guys. So today is Sunday, January 28th and this is what we're doing today. Um, so if you guys saw my last vlog then you know that after this cycle if this doesn't go through then um, we'll be going to an infertility doctor um, which is a little scary it's all a little scary like I'm don't even want to do this right now but I just want to show you guys that I filmed so many of these and they've been negative so I don't upload them but I want to share the good and the bad and the ugly and I just want to be real with you guys and show you everything so no matter what the outcome today is you guys will be seeing this live pregnancy test video so um, I've already got my sample and this comes with um, the it comes with the early result test a digital test and then the rapid result test so I'm doing the early result test I am 10 DPO today um, I said to start on Thursday so this is the early result one so I'm just going to dip it and then I'll come back after three or five minutes three minutes so Alright, uh, you'll probably hear the dogs because I just let them back in, but while we wait, I just wanted to kind of tell you guys what I've been feeling. Um, if you did watch my last vlog, and if you haven't, you definitely should go check it out, but I definitely like felt ovulation more than I ever have before. Um, I don't know, it was just, I cramped noticeably not awfully but like didn't hurt or wasn't unbearable but I just noticed I was cramping I had a lot of discharge and stuff like that and yeah so I just could tell this time which I mean doesn't really make a difference either way I just feel like I'm learning more about my body and being able to figure it out um and I also got the positive ovulation test as well um but like right now, I've been cramping a little bit here and there, um, not crazy. The last few days I've had like random spats of nausea, um, whether that's at night or in the middle of the day or whatever. Um, and then my boobs are so tender. Like they're not the worst they've ever been in the past, but like they are tender and I don't know, but I'm going to wait about one and a half two more minutes and then we will see what the results are all right so it's probably been more than three minutes but we are going to look I don't see anything looks like a negative um, which at this point I've kind of expected so that's okay um, we know where we're going from here so yeah it definitely looks negative but I will keep you guys updated on the rest of everything else that goes on so I wanted to add in here real quick um just because I know I'm not like bawling my eyes out or like just so upset like I expected this to be negative um I mean this is a year practically almost a year's worth of my life every month so while it's upsetting I'm very positive 
and strong about all of this because it does suck but at this point it's like sad to say that I'm used to it so a negative reaction it's just a negative reaction at this point I'm just gonna blow it off my shoulder I have a new goal that I know we are going to go to infertility after this so it's not like before where it was like oh we just have to keep trying and it's just gonna happen like we're actually doing something about it now so that makes me feel a lot better um, because it feels like for the last week and a half we've just been waiting to see what is going to happen with this so that we can you know make the appointment and stuff like that um, so I don't want you guys to think that I'm like I don't care and whatever I'm just numb to all of this so the day that I am pregnant will be a reaction you would never believe like that's a reaction that it will change but this is just the same old same old that you're playing this is just the same old same old and I'm just used to it at this point so I just you know take it with a grain of salt and we're just gonna keep pushing forward so again thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video